you're gonna be like, of course. It's kind of a sad story, but at the same time, it goes through perfectly. It's me. It's me, Jerry G. This is like a combination of heaven, sex, and buffalo. Love the new intro, Jerry. It's awesome. Love the new intro, Thank bro. you. And as always, it's me, Jerry G. Yesterday, my neighbor's goldfish died. And that's not a bad thing. Why? Because his cat likes to get on top of the fish tank and see, tries to catch that fish, splashes water all over the place, hits electric cords, starts a fire. But guess what? Now that the fish is dead, he's no longer going to have to worry about the cat splashing water. And that's a good thing. Thank you for uh, joining the Jerry G Show tonight. And as always, I'm Jerry G. We have Dahlia. We have Roberto Flipowitz, Minisquis, Alberto the Fifth. How did you get so many fucking names? I don't know. How did it's, you get so many Bobby, names? It's Bobby, I'm not Brady. Oh, that's it? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's, it's whatever. It's You're not Brady. You're not the Brady Bunch. Oh, my God. I'm gonna, You know what? Every week now, I'm just going to give you a brand new name, and you're not going to see it coming. Ever. Oh, I got the perfect name for you next like week. Like Shaniqua, Shaniqua. America, Bonapano, Bonica, Nisa, Nisa, Donald Trump, Aniqua. Donald Trump, Aniqua? Donald Trump, Aniqua. Trump like for that. fucking president. That's all I'm going to say Fuck on that yeah. shit. He, you know, I've, I've been watching like the polls. He's killing everybody. He's destroyed oh, yeah. it. Holy oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, really good. You know what? He's he's what we need. He really is. I think his quote this week was... um. Actually, maybe a few weeks ago, but I just read it this week. How do you expect Hillary to run a country if she can't even satisfy her husband? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I was like, Donald, you the fucking man. Ouch. That's awesome. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> and there's actually um, the debates tomorrow, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. See, I I've never watched the debates, but I remember last year, freaking, um, or the year before that, with all the shit going on and reading about it. But now I'm actually, I'm actually going to watch it. I will. Oh, yeah. Got some good guys. I want to see. He's just going to turn and be like, shut the fuck up, yeah. you're a liar. Yeah, yeah, Everything yeah, yeah. he's going to be like, I have money, yeah. you can't buy me, God bless America, let's make America great again. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> Win! Anybody else who runs against it's, them, I'll buy you it's out. It's true, because <laughs> most politicians, they, they do fundraisers going around the place looking for money. Have you seen Trump do one fundraiser? No. 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 Me too. He he's got fucking politicians looking for him to do fundraisers. To yeah. get, you can't... Buy him, so you're not gonna have all these companies. Well, here's a few thousands of millions of dollars or so. So, uh, can you give us a tax break? You're fired. Fuck that. Yeah, that's what's exactly. gonna happen. He buys up all the smaller politicians and creates mergers. So it's basically one huge ass political shit storm coming towards everybody. No he, one stares a chance. He wins. You're gonna see a lot of businesses that are uh, suddenly uh, the CEOs are not gonna be doing so good. And oh yeah. Their employees are gonna make more because now it's like, okay, here's the money. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be uh, very interesting. That's what we need. We need a businessman. We do. Uh, you know, Obama's a, a pussy. He is a pussy. He is. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, New York State becomes less complicated as far as like running a business goes and uh, a little more profitable. You know? And unfortunately, New York is full of too many fucking idiots. Less idiots. Trump will kill the idiots. What are you trying to say? Remove that. What, what are you Remove trying to that? say? Well, <laughs> we might be dumb, but we're not idiots. No. We're just slow. But it, no, there's a, there's a lot of idiots in this state. I, I, mean, I can't tell you how many people who voted for Obama just because they like to smile or something like that. And a lot of them were from, like, Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens. I'm like, yeah. you guys even know what the motherfucker's policies are? Let me tell you something. No. We, Jerry, all three of us, we all grew up in Massapequa. Yeah. Okay? When the vote happened, I went to Eastlake Elementary School. Uh-oh. Okay? Now, that area, and listen, no offense to anybody, but that is the whitest area ever. <laughs> I've yeah, that's where our bikes seen, got stolen. Yep, I've never seen so many black people in Eastlake Massapequa Elementary School in my life. I was like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Where'd they come from? Did we moved to Harlem? <laughs> well, East Amityville is not that far away. It, it's Chris, a mile away. No, exactly. God damn, though. Well, that, remember, you remember those bastards that came in, they stole our bikes, and then next thing you know, the same idiot that stole the bike came back with the fucking bikes. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking up? Was, you steal like, a bike and you go to like steal a bike again years ago. with yeah, the bike yeah. you stole. Yeah, it was like 20 years ago. I ended up getting a better bike out of it, so Crazy. thank you guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're all dead or in jail by now, those yeah, kids. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they, they, they came in, they found it. it was like a bike ring. One of the guys' house had like 20, oh. 30 bikes like when they found 
A Maybe your dad ring? freaking had fun with that shit. A bike Ooh. ring? No. No, it was like some kid. They were just going around stealing bikes, making money. Yeah. And the kid went went by the house, and then uh, we ran yeah, after him, bike. caught him. Oh. And he was like, oh, this is my bike, it's my bike. Ran back home, came back with like five of his friends. The one kid like tried to pull out a knife. Next thing you know, the cops came. I arrested like I was, four of them. I wish I was there for that. They would have been a little bloody before the cops came. <laughs> and this is back in the day before it, we were in the whole pussification of America, where if you like slap someone, they sue you. Oh yeah. yeah. Back in the day, you, you can get you can shut people up with fists. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, if you want to defend yourself, go right ahead. Today it's so, like no. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to say basically, if you see a bunch of guys. I notice I'm not I'm saying a bunch of guys. I'm not classifying any nationalities here. I mean straight the fuck up. See, three dudes on a pink bike. One guy riding and another guy behind him and another one on the pegs. First, I'd be like, why the fuck are these motherfuckers on a pink bike? Then after that, you run them down and you call the cops. Because chances are, three dudes on a pink bike in the middle of the night, they're looking for other bikes. Yeah. Something's not right. Something ain't right. Something Appreciate doesn't it. motherfucking add up. <laughs> Bobby, what are you drinking today? What do you got? I got some moonshine and some Gatorade. Nope. Oh shit! Mm. Got a downer and an upper. Mm. Oh hell yeah! Shit, man. And Dally, what are you drinking? Dr. Pepper. Forest fucking Dally, right over here. I must have had me fifteen Dr. Peppers. That's actually my fifteenth right there. God, now, it's a fart. Imagine if they redid Forrest Gump now with the president. <laughs> that scene when Forrest Gump went up to JFK and he's like, "I gotta pee." Yeah. It was Obama. I hope he would have pissed on him. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to pee on you, Mr. President. <laughs> Hashtag Forrest Gump pissing on Obama. Tom Hanks is awesome. Tom, that was Tom Hanks. Come on the show. Tom, <laughs> Tom Hanks is probably the only guy who can make a solo movie by himself in a motherfucking ball. Yeah. And you just have the greatest time fucking watching it. Oh, it's Castaway. Cast yeah. I, I I haven't seen the movie in a while because it Wilson. hasn't been on. But Wilson. Oh. Anytime I see that movie, first it makes me hungry for crabs, mm. even though I don't even like seafood. I love seafood. You like seafood? I love seafood. Oh, so do I. It is so delicious. Well, actually, my friend Frankie actually brought me in some clams today to work. He brought yeah. you some in, clams? Yeah, brought me in clams. Nice, nice, like, big, like, like I'm talking, like, clam chowder clams. Oh, nice. shit. Yeah, he, put, he brought them in in a cooler. He's like, oh, here, here's a present. I'm like, what the hell is that? Hope you put Open your face it up, there was, like, 20 clams. Clam. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Hope you put your face all inside of that Oh, clam. yes, I did. Sorry, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> is she watching tonight? Yeah, probably. Gina's watching, and uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Mason is... Uh, out cold. Yeah, uh, oh my god, freaking poor Mason with the video. Ah. Speaking of which, um, so the uh, Lake jo we made a, a video on Lake George. You know how um, I have that obsession with the angry Tourette's guy. Ass! Dahlia! So I decided, what? I decided, <laughs> I decided to make uh, my own version. Happened. It's a little quick one minute movie of uh, the Lake George angry Tourette's guy or the angry Tourette's guy Lake George. Take a watch. Bobby and Bruce Jenner have in common. Neither one of them have balls! Ass! Do you want a sugar free energy drink? No! Are you sure? No! Are you sure you don't want one? No! Are you sure? Fuck! Fuck! Yes, this fucking dumb bastard uh, made my 15-month-old son cry. Uh, yes! When that's, you know, it's funny, actually, in my top ten things to do before I die, one of them was be uh, pretend to be the angry Tourette's guy and make someone's 15-month-old son die. Mission accomplished. Die or cry? cry Jesus wow. Christ! That's wow. terrible! Wow. Wish about what the fuck? My bad, cry. I have so many things I should bitch slap yeah. Jerry, call in, and yeah, tell us. You see, right okay, now. I'm going to make a confession. Uh, the pre-workout I had at the gym says specifically you only have one scoop. Well, I had one and a half. That's a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a video I for Jerry's pre-workout next week. Oh, Let me oh, tell oh. you. Is it the freaking... You know, it's funny. Someone posted... Uh, they told me to take one scoop. I took three. 
<laughs> oh, that guy. Someone posted on my wall. I, I wish I gotta find the YouTube clip of the guy that jumps in the trampoline that goes flying like 100 feet into the announce table. No, shit. I actually just showed that today. That was great. <laughs> sure. I'll show you that one right, uh, right before we leave later today. But you know, next week I'll play it. Yeah, like it's funny. One of these pre-workout comes up. Like videos come online, like ten or fifteen friends of mine will all fucking tag me. I'm like, motherfucker, look at my walls posted already a few times. <laughs> like they all just like, is that how you you know me? Just the guy that drinks and sniffs the pre work, drinks the pre workout. It was only once. Jerry, I don't know what goes on. I don't even want to know what goes on in your bathroom. What goes before, on in my before, bathroom before you go? Before you go to the gym. You know what happens? I go in the bathroom. I look at. He does it on a toilet bowl seat. Like hey, it's a, like the cleanest a, place ever. Like a true <laughs> I should go in the bathroom. pre-workout cokehead. I look in the bathroom, start dancing myself and my woman's skin, and say, I'd fuck me. It puts the lotion on the skin. You want to fuck me? Told. You, oh, you've never seen Silence of the Lambs? What? You've never seen Silence of the Lambs? What? being silent. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bill or Bob or Listen, whatever. Listen, there's this guy. There's this guy that works with us. Oh. That works with me. This guy, he's Haitian, and he's been he he's been in the United States for like I think it's like 15 years or something. He's legal. He's got his card, whatever. This guy, I cannot understand anything he says at all. <laughs> okay, he'll come over and he'll say something, and I'm like. What? You like little boys? Mm -hmm. And he's like, what? No, no, no. I like the toy. The toy. The boy. You like the little boy. No, I was rolling down the window and it's only in the nine <laughs> inches. You have a nine inch dick? Oh my God. No, 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 no. The window. I'm like, dick got caught. What? You dick got caught in the window? <laughs> no, 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 no. And it just goes on and on and on. I'm going to have to record something and I have to show you guys. You because do. it's one of those things where once you see it, you're never gonna forget it. I've um, I've, I would confess that I've dealt with many Haitians in the past, and sometimes I personally will just love getting them angry because the angrier they get, the less you could understand what the fuck they're saying. It's, he doesn't get angry. It's just no matter what he Some says, them, yeah. you cannot understand what he says. <laughs> like, like today, like I'm talking to him, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and he's telling me, and I'm like, wait, I'm like, wait, rewind. You speak English, right? Yeah, yeah, I speak English. You speak English? Yes, you speak English. Okay, <laughs> talk English. Okay, and I'll say so. I need this for the, 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 the what? It just trails off. And it just goes on and on for like ten. Finally, I'm like, Let's just go. Do, do what you gotta do. Actually, I went to um, a wedding where one fam, one part of the family was Haitian, the other part was Polish. So it was definitely interesting. You'd go from like having like a dance song on, like rap or reggae, and suddenly some tribal music would come on. I'm like, what the? F they kept changing the music from regular <laughs> to Haitian. It was huh. getting so confusing. Wow. It was it was uh, actually a really good he, wedding. You see what he did there? Confusion. Confusion. I did it again. Confusion. Fuck that my was a life. merger. Of Dahlia, do not make me anger. Of confused. Don't you fuck with me. Cause <laughs> I will lunge over there and fly through the air. What? Flying Something Dahlia. Something bad? Where? <laughs> Flying Dahlia. I gained 100 if pounds. You, if you I'm, come I over here, out. I will rip out your intestines out. and use Where, with your shoes? Ups. Yeah. <laughs> you work out? Yeah. Holy shit, look at those freaking 10 inch pythons. <laughs> you get some strings. Oh no, this is your arm. I Actually, swear to God, if you hit that button, I'm gonna cut the fucking head off. Fun fact my dick is the same thickness as my arm. Yeah, well, that's really tiny. Fuck you. <laughs> Very <laughs> unfortunate. Wow! Well, it's not the size, it's how you use it. It is true. I'm this gonna get loud! Dick. Dr. fucking Dick Pepper. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You know, speaking of the workout, when I was at the gym earlier, I guess the pre-workout was still kicked in, and uh, my friend Tom was filming my sets and shit, so every time like I was getting ready to go, I just started hysterically laughing, and I'm looking in the mirror like, all these motherfuckers are looking at me like I'm a fucking nut job. <laughs> I'm like, but, but, but I'm putting up weight that no one else is in the gym doing. I see this motherfucking kid, okay, he's no joke, he's laying down with the bench. Ah! Ah! Bring the bar down two inches and screaming. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You only got 155 on the bar and you're fucking air pressing this shit. I see that and I was like, I just want to lift the bar up and throw him. Be like, fuck it in! I would love he to see Jerry at Planet, F at Planet Fitness. <laughs> For like his pre, like, like his pre lift. Yeah, you know what? Like, <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Somebody's smacking his back. Yeah. And they're like, sir, you have to leave. Shut up, I'm working! 
The freaking that that the yeah, one would come on. <laughs> uh, you know what? We should do that. We should film a Jerry G show at a Planet Fitness. Might be the fastest episode we ever freaking filmed or whatever. Awesome. But I get kicked out walking up and walking the place like don't let me stay. I'm just gonna be like, can I have a membership here? <laughs> <laughs> and they gonna be like, out. Yeah, but don't they have only like like twenty pound weights or something? I actually, I had to help some friends out once There's there, and they they go up to like 50s, 60s. I actually went in one. I didn't get kicked out because I wasn't doing it. I was just helping my friends out one day. Wow. It, it was the weirdest thing because there must have been about like a good seven, 800 treadmills. I've never seen so many fucking treadmills in a gym my whole life. <laughs> yeah, but they, they also have like... Uh, How many were being used? You know, uh, they have also, what is it, like Bagel Tuesdays and Pizza Fridays and shit. It's Twinkie. Like, really the point Twinkie of working Thursdays. out. They it's have Twinkie like, Thursdays. It's like one... Bull sack Saturdays. <laughs> Two. No, it was really it was so much purple. It was just really depressed. It was like looking at like Grimace's jizz in a fucking gym. Because you're special. And Dude, when we were up fitness, in Lake George, no let me tell you, there were a couple are, people up there. I was like, oh, you need to eat a salad. Oh, my. I was, you know what's funny? I felt so bad saying that. I, I pointed out to Michelle. I'm like, why are there so many out of shape, overweight people? No wonder they're renting out golf carts. Okay, where we were, we went to Lake George Escape. And they have these, like, golf carts that people are, like, you know, they go from one trailer to another, a total of, like, 10 feet. And they're paying three fifty a week to rent these golf carts because it's, it's, like it's like the Walmart of RV it's, parks. Yeah, it was, like, it was, like, $90 a day. I'm like, what? But if you got, like, the week thing, it was, like, a deal. They gave it to you, like, $400 for, like, the week. Nice. I mean, let me tell you something. I mean, they were pretty cool, but I, I could walk faster than those fucking golf carts. <laughs> I, mean, I really I raced one of them. Oh, I took yeah. it apart. I tried tweaking it. No. Do you know what I did? Um, I forget who um, one of the dads was on it with his son. He, the son's like, you can't lift this. So I went to the thing and I, when there was the dad, the son, and the daughter, and I started picking up the golf cart, and the thing <laughs> almost freaking went up. He's like, never mind, you can't, you can't, stop, stop, I don't want to die. He threw it on a kid. I, thought, I forget which dad it, it was. He's like, holy shit. He's like, you're lifting that with all of a sudden. I'm like, it was easy. Actually, I got a funny story for you to talk about golf carts. Golf cart, uh-oh. The day you left, Thursday, oh. I went golfing with uh, my father, Jerry's father, um, my little brother, and his two friends, and then my father's other two friends. And, uh, you know, I'm not a golfer. I do it once every, like, ten years or so. <laughs> but uh, we had, it was me, Philip, which is my brother, Devin, which is my brother's friend, and TC, which is my brother's friend. We were on one four, four team. And then you have my father, Jerry, uh, the other, the older TC, and then uh, the other guy, uh, John. Yeah. Uh, Tom, I'm sorry. Tom. So... We, uh, we get to the golf course and it's 6.30 in the morning. The night before, I was drinking very lightly. Lightly meaning beer five to six pong. beers oh, within an hour. Well, now. let's oh, just God. say this. Me and my brother played beer pong the night before. Yeah. I tried to go to sleep. Me and my brother could not lose, no matter who we played. <laughs> I was throwing it on, hitting the tent, and it would just go boop, right in the cup. And I'm like, really? So 6.30 in the morning, we show up to the golf course, walk in, my father's friend Tom, Goes over to the bar, goes over to the guy and he goes, oh, you know, you guys get a bar. Can we get some Bloody Marys? Yeah, sure. Bobby, you want one? All right. I'm still hung over, <laughs> still half in the bag. Got it, got one. Mm -hmm. First hole, yep, hit the ball, yep, right turn. Go down, a couple holes later, my brother's friend TC decides he's going to in the golf cart with Devin and he's like, I'm going to play, uh, what is it, uh, what's that game with the horse, uh, polo. Oh, he's like, He's like, come on, I'm going to hit it on the run, hit it on the run. This kid Played swings, in the golf misses. Club? Now, mind you, we rented the <laughs> golf clubs. We rented the golf clubs. <laughs> I know where this is going. Goes to swing, completely misses the ball. Golf club comes around, snap! Hits the pole for the awning <laughs> on the golf cart. Snaps right in half. And me and my brother are on the other side of the green. And all of a sudden, I look over and he runs into the woods. And I'm like, where the hell did he go? <laughs> all of a sudden, he's like missing. And I'm like, oh, I guess we're going to have to take a piss. <laughs> comes back and he's like, I'm like, what the hell's the matter? I had to get rid of a golf club. I'm like, what? <laughs> he goes, I broke it. I'm like, what do you mean you broke it? He told me what he did. I was like, oh my god. You got that reminds me Couple, of um, from Marvel on. bosses. It, keeps, it, go, it gets better. It gets better. Uh -oh. It gets better. It gets better. Couple holes later, now mind you, at the beginning of the game, we bought 20 golf balls. Okay. Mm -hmm. When we left at the end of the day, we left with two. <laughs> Devin hits a ball and just right turn. All you hear is mm, four. Anybody? With four. The, with, with the day so I'm like five. <laughs> But did they make this sound like they're doing Caddyshack? Oh, yeah. Was there a little go for that? It was like yeah, popping out we to the hit, hole? Then <laughs> we went to another hole. and uh, Did you guys see Obama? No, we didn't. Surprising! He wasn't out of the hole. We went once. to another hole. 
And I hit the ball. Mine's okay. I got mine. Mine's in, in the in the hole. Devin hits his. My brother hits his. The kid TC can't find his ball. So I turn around. I'm like, oh, it's right there. Very tragic. Pulls the ball up. We go to the next hole. Next thing you know, that there's three old guys. I swear, Jerry, they were three times the size of you. Really? I swear to God. Those These old guys, guys all never, of a sudden, like, somebody take my ball. And I'm like, what? <laughs> somebody oh, took no. my ball. It was a da 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 ball. What? What are you talking about? It's your ball. So, gave him back his ball. The guy, like, freaked the fuck out. I hit the next ball. Didn't realize my father was, like, 20 feet ahead of me. Hit a fucking tree. And just, boom. Came, like, two inches from his head. <laughs> and we're playing another hole. All of a sudden, we hit the ball. And his family just comes out of the woods. Oh, and I'm like, wow. what, what the fuck's going on today? Wow. <laughs> just out of nowhere. And then all of a sudden, there's a picture. I mean, not a picture. A sign on the tree. I have a picture of it. Sign on the tree. Just caution. Men in trees. What? Like, Men what? in trees. Do you hear this? What the fuck is going on? It was literally a whole family. A mother, father, son, and a daughter. What just came out of the woods. We were like, really? What is going on in Lake George? Right? There are men in tree what? signs posted. What kind of golf course would you go to? <laughs> I have no idea. It's one right down the block from the campground. See, I'm not a big, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of golf, but I actually would, wouldn't mind uh, going to this place. Oh, it's fun. Do you know how I almost got kicked is... out because I wore a tank top. The last time I played golf was actually in high school, and the reason I stopped playing because the club went further than the ball. And when I say the club went flying, it literally went flying into the gym teacher's fucking head, and I felt bad about it. Ever since. <laughs> I was like, boom, like that, and I see the ball's oh. there, and I'm like, where'd the club go? And I hear him, oh, it's gone! The fucking hit him in that. I was like, oh, oh I shit. I tried Happy Gilmore in it a couple of times. That works so yeah, good, surprisingly. No. No. When you're drinking, your hands are wet, you're uh, half drunk, you fall on no. your ass, golf club goes flying, hey, duct tape ball's still in the same spot. No. Duct tape it to Don't your Don't work so, out too well. Whatever. Duct tape. Duct tape. Duct tape works for everything. Silence is golden, but duct tape is silver. It is. Sometimes I like the sound black. you make when it's you shut your too. mouth. You shut your mouth <laughs> when you're talking to me. <laughs> Wedding Crash was a good movie. I was watching that the other day. Oh. Most fucked up part, obviously, when the guy's trying to get the girls in the funeral. <laughs> Damn you, Roger! Damn you! Ma! The meatloaf! Fuck! <laughs> what she's doing in there? That was a fucking great skateboard. Oh. <laughs> it should make a Wedding Crash was too. They really it surprised should. me if they do that. They would, they would, just to make more money. Speaking of sequels, there's a teaser trailer that came out this week for Zoolander 2. Yeah, Willie Nelson's yeah, in yeah. it. Oh my god. Let's He's still alive? Let's yeah. Do. Holy shit. Fucking guy smokes more pot than Bob Marley and his son combined. I don't know actually if, I don't know any potheads that died earlier. They all fucking lived to be like 200 years old. God yeah. damn, 200 years old. No wonder the government doesn't want anyone weed legalized because then everybody's going to start like outliving the normal age and shit. <laughs> Nobody, they, nobody's ever died from a pot overdose. Nope. LA's right. It's true. You get, you get a body high, but... Look, look at Snoop Dogg, he's 150 years old, still smoking and doing concerts. Yeah. He looks the same as he did in, like, 1986. When he, he was in the movie, was it with a baby boy? Yeah, <laughs> he looks better than Tupac. Oh, sorry. That's oh. A... Tupac. <laughs> you fucked I'm up, sorry. Guy. You fucked up. Sorry. Ass! I didn't mean to. Mm -hmm. Speaking he looks of... better than Tupac. <laughs> Speaking of fucked up, you know who fucked up? The, uh, what's your name that fought Ra uh, Ronda? That bitch fucker was making fun of like the dad's suicide before the fight. I'm like, you just lost the fight before it even started. He got knocked out in like 34 fucking seconds. 24. Tw it was 24 or 34? 24 seconds. Someone clarified 24, 34. Right, whatever. It was in the first fucking round. Yeah. She's she's gonna have more records of first round knockouts than Mike Tyson. Let me tell you something. Done. The things I would do to that girl. <laughs> I wouldn't last 30 seconds with her either. No. Fuck. She had that whole story where she was like with a group of friends in a movie theater, and there was like someone like kicking the back of her seat, and she pretty much beat the shit out of like every single person that was, that was like trying that was fuck with her and her friends, and like the cops had to like rip her off of it. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> there is, it was awesome. There is one person that can knock out uh Rhonda. I got a nice little picture to show you. Look at this. This is completely fucked up. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Rhonda, please come forward if you have been knocked out by him. <laughs> by Bill Cosby. That's great. Bill Cosby be like, I be putting in a pill in your drink, Rhonda. <laughs> Pudding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That, I saw that picture this week. I was crying. Literally, that picture came up like like a few hours after the fight. People yeah. are just on top of their shit with these memes. That's oh crazy. my god, that's hysterical.
crazy. Actually, I actually, when we were at Lake George, I actually drank with his girlfriend. Oh. She actually drank more than, I think, a sip or something like that. Yeah, no. She, she passed had, out early, though. I actually her. Got, her, got her to take two shots. Two. And Damn, was, I actually, I think I got her to do a shotgun. Was it her or your sister that did a shotgun with me? It's probably my remember. sister. One of them. But let me tell you, that was fun. A lot of fun. I think I had like, I, I, I had like two drinks, and then your dad's like, Gerard, stop being a pussy, have another one. <laughs> <laughs> very, very few people know me as Gerard, you see. It's Jerry G, but when people know me since like 93, 94, like this fucking asshole. <laughs> I've known I've known while. Jerry for 22 years. That's fucking scary. Wow. Yeah, me and Jerry known each other 22 years. Wow. We start off as little kids wrestling on a school bus, and now we're on the Jerry G show, being a bunch of idiots. Oh yeah. Nothing's really changed at all. <laughs> That's it. I, I wouldn't change anything actually. Mm mm. Not a damn thing. We should do a skit on the back of a school bus with the bumps and shit. Remember the bumps? How? Who looks forward to the bumps on the yes. back of a school bus? I'll never forget. I used to st me and my friends. We used to stand up in the back of the bus. And like th there was right by East, like there was this one big bus driver, and he would actually do sixty miles an hour down the fucking road on purpose. And <laughs> I remember that we guy. We would hit the ceiling. Yep, he used to listen to Howard Stern in the morning. Uh, do speak, go and then speed when you bumps. when you would get off the bus, you would play the music on the outside of the yeah, bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy was awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what bus drivers are cool. Now it's like bus drivers can't do shit with the no, kids. No, no, they're not even allowed to like talk to the kids. No. It's like I right, get on the bus. Yeah, well like fucking remember red light, red light. Remember when we used to play red light? No, you when. Everybody in the bus, you would have to start from the from like the middle of the bus, and you would have to try to run past everybody to touch the red light on the back that was on the top, <laughs> oh, and everybody would that. push you and hit you and tackle you. <laughs> never heard of that. You never heard of that game? Oh, I don't remember that. Maybe we was just football players. You think, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't <laughs> when we were on the bus, you guys. I wouldn't remember that. I just remember us standing up, going over the bumps and shit, and everyone smashing their heads. Maybe that's why we turned out great, because we got our heads knocked out a lot when we were in elementary school. It was a little pop rip, it's hurt. It's weird. It's that shit that happens to you in elementary school that freaking builds you for the rest of your life. Oh, and yeah. Kids will never know because they have shitty school buses today. They have, like, softer suspension, and they're built better, which sucks. And kids, our buses were shit. And these kids don't even Actually, have no. dodgeball. Our, bu our buses were built the right way. Yeah, they it were. It was well, fucking, it was steel and aluminum. Yeah. We live, we're here, so yeah. it must yeah. have been built right. Now they have electric fucking plastic and yeah. Japanese crap. Yeah. Oh, look at here. <laughs> we make about a school bus. And now they, you school. have the kids in elementary school who aren't even allowed to play dodgeball. Like, uh, what the fuck? What? Yeah. Like, dodgeball's banned in, like, so many fucking, like, 90% of schools now. That's why Bullshit. The fuck? I used to love that shit. Stop being a pussy. Yeah. In my, gym in my opinion... Well, I was going to say, our gym well, teachers used to take the dodgeballs, fucking put them in the freezer so they got hard, and then fucking play dodgeball with these so they're harder. Where the fuck did you go to school? What? It hurt more. <laughs> <laughs> so you liked when the gym teachers made things hard? I don't know how this got turned around like that. You said it. I don't support it. You don't support it. Jerry liked cold balls. Balls! <laughs> but, yeah, regardless, taking dodgeball away is a fail and that's yeah. not a good thing yeah. but speaking of fails uh now that we're halfway through the show got a fail video to show and uh after this video we'll come back this will be our little commercial break enjoy the fails jerry g <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> 
fucking alone. Oh, shit. Oh. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Oh, 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 my brother! How about see you next this way? My brother! Hi. It's picking up. Hi, it's picking up over your head. Pick up the pot over your head. Now this one. Pick it up over your head. Pick. Ah! Slide selfie! Ah! Uh, oh! Fuck. Oh! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bleeding headache! Last one was definitely my favorite. That was that awesome. was amazing. No, I like the one with the drone. Ugh. Fucking right up until the lights yeah, and wires. Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> Fuck you, cat. Before uh, we get into our next discussion, uh, one of my uh, my friends, Frank, he he brought up an old memory of school buses. Back uh, back in junior, uh, was it junior high or high school? I, I don't remember. Actually, no, high school. Me and uh, my friend Nick, you remember Nick? We would uh, always like start fighting with the garbage cans and shit when we got out of the bus to entertain everyone. The bus driver would legit stop and like let us like go at it. And there was one day Nick wasn't on the bus, so my friend's like, Jerry, just beat yourself up. 
So I ran out of the bus and I ran and I did a sprint and I backflipped into the right, uh, my garage door. I think I bounced off and then backflipped off and the door freaking fell down and shit. <laughs> my dad came home that day. He's like, what the hell happened to the garage door? I'm like, I tripped and fell into it. <laughs> Now he knows. The, yeah. whole thing was, the whole thing was <laughs> dented. And I just remember looking back. I was like, oh, fuck. And everyone on the bus is cracking up. So they were funny. like expecting like that shit to happen. But Frank, thank you for reminding me. My only regret in life was not having that on film. Ugh. Now now these days, everybody would have had that on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Facebook, yeah. Twitter, my face, my space. Uh, my face, your face? My face, your face. <laughs> Everybody's face, public face. Those were good. Oh my god. Look what I did. I feel LOL. the pain in my chest. Just think, thanks, Frank, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Reminded me of my old painful memories. Uh, Those were some good fucking times. Oh yeah. What up? Uh, did you eat the daddy? Did you ever fuck around with anyone on the bus? Around anybody on the bus. Like what, like have sex on the bus? Uh, sex on the bus is fucking Sex on the bus. That could Go be over awesome. a bump, that could be painful. How? Super what deep, kind of bump? Super deep penetration. Not for me, for her. You, for you her. must have been on a Turkish bus or something right there, Dahlia. Maybe, I don't know. Have you ever gone inside of a Turkish prison? I know where this is going. You do? I forget what movie it's from, but I know where this is going. You ever been inside of a cockpit? God damn it, is this from Airplane? Yes! Oh, I knew it, because it's a cockpit! Yes, Dahlia, you ever seen a movie about gladiators? No, all day long at work, me and my friends no. would come up with Turkish prison jokes and stuff like that. Probably for the past Dr. five months, nonstop, all day long. Hands. Motherfucking Dr. Oh. Pepper. So, Dally, is it is it my understanding uh, you got us a video for today? I got us a video for today. Uh -oh. You ever see It? Great movie about clowns, but what if you got a bunch of stupid fucking clowns that keep messing up at what they're trying to do? They're really scary, but they're fucking stupid. Getting clowns hit by cars and shit. Clowns are cool and scary. I gotta see cool. this. These are, these are cool oh, and scary God. clowns. Let's see what's on. Let's see what's on. Thank you. 
Oh my god, those are bad dog. It's not me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna have nightmares now. Oh my god. So. Well, that was uh, the Eleanor voice right over there. I have nightmares from that. Uh oh, we're, we're getting a comment about the show. Let's, Ooh, let's see. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny, but it was kind of stupid. <laughs> I like the other one where you see all like there was like eight you guys Frank. that beat the fuck out of these guys. Yeah. That's why I said stupid clowns. Fucking clowns. Fuck up, fuck up video. No, I know some girls that are like legit terrified of motherfucking clowns. <laughs> Like, if you were to put like a little clown doll, like they're sleeping, they wake up, they could like, ah! they could like get really freaking freaked out and shit. Wow. Like someone murdered their grandma or some shit. You know what it is, dude? These people are fucking stupid. Cause you know what? Like you think about it. Yeah. You're expect no matter where you go. Like where they go. Some going. idiot pulls out a fucking gun and thinks you're yeah. serious. Yeah. Like you. That's it. Yeah. Or for what? Yeah. A little a fucking fifteen minutes of fame. Yeah. Like really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my! You know what's funny? Um. My friend Bobby, that, uh, another Bobby, that edited the intro and made it from, thank you by the way if you're watching, we did a skit where we were at um, a supermarket over in Plainview, and they had a, one guy that was putting, we were outside of the mar uh, market or whatever, where they have the, uh, the coin machines for the, the vending with, you know, returning the bottles and shit, he's doing that, another guy comes up dressed as a ninja, goes behind him, cranks his neck and starts dragging the body away, and his one guy was like an undercover, went to reach for his gun, like, no, 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 it's a joke! <laughs> People are stupid, cause you know you you think about it. It's you know you think it's something funny, but then yeah. all of a sudden you know somebody else takes it seriously. Yeah. You get fucking shot. You're dead. Jokes you're, on there you. There you go. Coming back for that. Jokes on you. You know you know another thing. Um, people are scared of. Um, you know next week I'm gonna get a video. The weirdest things people are scared of. I'll never forget this woman. She was terrified of balloons. Balloon. Like someone filled up a balloon behind her, and she ran away crying off stage. Ah. Huh. I forget, it was either, it was Moria or some other show where they had it, like, people that have the weirdest, like, the fucking like fears. phobias and shit? Phobias, yeah. Huh. There's a lot of people who get freaked out over, me personally, I'm scared of rainbows. I hate spiders. Spiders? I love spiders. 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 spiders yeah, are rainbows awesome. are fine. Those spiders are spiders. Spiders. on the White House. That's when it's spiders. fucked up. That's no. when it's scary. I turn into a little, like, two-year-old girl when it comes to spiders. I'm sorry, we didn't see any spiders on Lake George. Oh, we did. I killed them all. <laughs> well, there's some crazy, um... Just got in the area. <laughs> Die! There's some crazy animals. If anyone's ever um, been to Lake George, we've had a good time. If you haven't been there, I suggest highly going. Nice little weekend getaway. Go on the lake, go on the jet skis. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Um, we actually play there. golf. We actually went on uh, on Friday. We actually rented the uh, the pontoon boats like we do every oh, year. Oh, I forgot oh. about that. We, we were diving to, off of them. We went to this place. We actually, the first place we went to was actually, it was a cliff. It was called, like, Devil's Peak or something. Devil. Is and that by, like, um... Bolton Landing, almost. It, it's across the other side of the uh, of the lake. No one ever goes to the other side. Yeah, well, we're we always did. on the one side. There's well, we went over why. there, and there was actually it went from like five feet to like ten feet to like thirty feet up to fifty feet, and it was actually like two kids that jumped off the fifty foot drop. Fuck. And it's like, it's actually pretty freaky. Fuck. I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm good. I'm like, I'm not drunk Fuck. yet, so I'm not going. <laughs> we went to this other place. It was actually called like Log Cove, and everybody kept telling us, oh, there's a waterfall, there's a waterfall. <clears throat> well, where is it? Oh, it's only, it's in the woods. You follow the path, stay to the right, and it's just a little ways up. I know where this is going. All right. Yeah, well, I, sm I smoke a pack of, a pack of cigarettes a day. Let me tell you something. A pack, <laughs> of, cig pack of cigarettes right. and a pack of cigarettes and uh, half in the bag at the same time. That was a nice car, by the way. Walking uphill, it was a mile. Wow. A mile to this waterfall. Puffing, puffing. But let me tell you something. <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah. Could, dude, you could not have taken a picture of it. Fucking yeah. Speaking of taking awesome. a picture of something. Yeah, so I'm sorry. That picture that came up, I wanted, I brought it up because you were guys were talking initially about massive people in school and everything. Oh, uh, yes. I wanted to know if you guys knew that uh, Jerry Seinfeld was in town. It is porch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Let's see this. I'm so happy. What? Wrong. Oh, that's, oh we'll talk about that so next. ugly. Not, not the Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Look at that Porsche. Is that a 918? Yeah. I saw that on my feed the other day. I was like, fuck, I wish I was at All-American. Why American wasn't I time. there? Oh, he was at All-American? Yeah. Yeah, that's Saturday. American. I would have been there busting his balls. He'd be like, Jerry, I got a textbook from when you went to Massapequa High School. I'll sign it. <laughs> He'd be like, why the fuck do you still have textbooks? $939,000. Yeah. What kind of Porsche is it? I can't 918, see. uh... Spider Holy Christ. Wysik package. Somebody told me it's a hybrid. Yeah, they don't make uh, those It's like anymore. nine. It, no, they still make that one. That's brand new. No, no not... 
That I one's brand new. That's, he got the first one. Yeah. Or something. I thought they discontinued that model. No, they just came out with that. That's a brand what? new What? That's a hybrid. It's got uh, $900,000. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually four wheel drive. The front of it's electric and the back of it's driven Jesus by the engine. Jesus Christ. I was looking about that, uh, looking up that car. I, I wish I had sick. money. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. 900,000. You know how many motherfucking Red Bulls I can buy with that? You know how, what, what type of fucking house you can buy with that car? Oh, Jesus no, crap. I'm not on even a thinking about the house. I'm just oh. thinking about the drink. The whole, all those Red Bulls. You know how much pre-work I can buy and sniff with that? Really? This You're is... thinking about Red Bull. That Think shit would Bull. expire before you finished it all. Silence with your negativity! I'm just trying to be positive. I'd go for the Porsche instead of the pre-workout. Trying to, you know, oh, Jesus Christ. Put some fucking common sense into that old pre worked out noggin of yours. Fucking guy next to me over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting all the way on the other side of the couch. I want no. I have confidence. No one can shake it. I don't care how big you are. I can do it. Motherfucker. You we're in America. We're you in America. Confidence. The only thing you've got we're right now America. is mud butt. We're in America. I don't have mud butt. You sure? Maybe a little bit, but is that why Bobby's moving matter. further and further away every two seconds? The stench is flying. Mud butt. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag mud butt. It was the most significant dunk ep dump ever taken in Whose history. Whose tablet is this? Whose tablet? Oh my God! You just reminded me of the it's World yours. of Warcraft kid. Fuck! It is mine. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Did you ever see the World of Warcraft kid when the mob turned his um subscription off? And then he goes in the room and starts like beating himself up and jumping all over the bed. And then he shoves his remote <laughs> control up his ass. Yeah. Ah! Ah! I'm like, what the fuck is Why wrong with this kid? What, the... what about the other kid that his father like took all the video games? Oh, right the with the one more. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. That was so I fucking was like, awesome. I was, this kid's like, no, yeah. you ruined my life. Yeah, that shit was great. Get the fuck outside. That was a nice. Speaking of fucked up, have you heard about the woman that is having an affair with Bigfoot? Oh my god. Yes. There we this go. is the greatest thing, and it's the most fucked up shit you're gonna read all week. Yeah, Check this out. With pictures. I'm gonna read this out for you. Nancy Hogwarts Hogart, Hog fuck you, Hogwarts. told Bigfoot <laughs> Tracker that she and the infamous Bigfoot have been in a sexual relationship since 2008 and are trying to start a family. She claims that Bigfoot lives in Mason County. Here comes all the Bigfoot hunters. Washington, and she first uh, encountered the beast while attending her marijuana grow. Get this, here it gets even better. Bigfoot was standing there eating all the buds off my plants, Hogan said. <laughs> At first, I wanted to run because he's very scary, but I thought he might eat all my marijuana plants, and that's how I used to make a living. Used, quote unquote. I pointed a shotgun at him, and he put his hands up scared. That's when I looked down and noticed he had a huge erection between his legs. I hadn't gotten any in a while, <laughs> and well, from there, it somehow turned into an adult movie. I don't know if he started it, or if I did, he did me from behind, which felt great. <laughs> Somebody smokes way too much fucking pot. That must be some really good weed. A weed that makes you hallucinate that Bigwood is Bigwood. Bigwood? Big ah, <laughs> Jerry, like, Jerry admitted ah, he likes Bigwood. That's Wood. his porn name. That's Fuck. Bigfoot's porn name, Bigwood. Ow. <laughs> that... Oh, I'm going to have to make a clip of that later. <laughs> that, who, who, what kind of weed makes you hallucinate that Bigwood Bigfoot is in your fucking marijuana garden <laughs> with an erection getting ready to turn you into an adult movie? And now, it's even, you didn't see that part of the article, but there's another part where uh, I was reading, she's, she's trying to have kids with him, and she's in her 50s, so it's not that easy. I, 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 I want to see proof of this Bigfoot. What proof do you want to see? Do you want to see Bigfoot? Not the wood? big one. Bigfoot, the whole fucking thing. I want him <laughs> shot. He wants to see the whole shot, fucking thing, ladies and gentlemen. Shut, <laughs> shut stuff and put on a fucking, like, stand and put on display. You want to see the whole thing and you want to see it stuffed. Yeah, you just fucking going crazy today, man. Like a, you know, like how when you kill an animal, you put it up on display and you stuff you want, it. You want his cock that big? Whatever, <laughs> they call it a big one for a reason. Yeah, you so, want to just go to know. Africa and kill a lion. Get people to... Oh, oh, oops. What if I want to take up dentistry? So, what do you guys think of the whole situation? That's with bullshit. Stop being a bunch of fucking pansies. You, know, actually, you people, every day you go to the zoo. Mm -hmm. And you pay money to see these fucking animals locked in cages. Yeah. Alright, if you want to see animals locked in cages, go to the fucking Nassau County Jail. Oh, shit. Woo! Burn! Well, you know, it's it. All these people, I, I know, me, I don't give a shit because it has nothing to do with my life, honestly. And if it sounds selfish, whatever. <laughs> sounds great. 
tits on burp. Trying to fucking burp, I will shove this pen down your esophagus. I'm um, shoving of things down people's things. Your mouth is a thing. What? It's an All right, but yeah, no, suddenly, like, okay, if anyone's watching, have you noticed how, like, whenever something happens on social media, suddenly everyone's activist? I think, I think you lost all the reviews after I made that comment. Well, <laughs> actually, no, you gained them. You got, you got all the hardcore rednecks watching now. <laughs> a, red, a redneck <laughs> audience went up 10%. <laughs> I support you, uh, that boy. What boy do you support? You know what my thing that is? That boy. I mean, he listen, you know what, granted, there was a lot of different stories, and there's, there's always three sides. There's this one's, that one's, and then there's the truth. Yes. Okay, supposedly what had happened was the dentist had a lot of money. He came from wealth, he came from money so before he even became work? a dentist. Yeah. He paid some, you know, tracker or something like, he probably said to him, here, here's an extra X amount of money, find me a nice lion to shoot. And since there was a loophole, since the lion came off the reservation that it was on, he was able to shoot it. But you know what's happening now? And the fact that this guy went public is not a bad thing. Why? Because now this dentist is getting a lot of DNGs. Thanks to Ronda Rousey's mm. quote of do nothing girls. The yeah. second all these girls found out, the dentist has money. They don't give a fuck that he killed the lion. Some girl's like, oh, did you kill a bear? That's okay. You have money. Fuck me anyways. He's probably getting laid. Probably. This motherfucker is getting laid. See how white his you. teeth were? His fucking teeth are like so white. What the fuck is that? They're not real. Jesus, he's a dentist too, probably. That's <laughs> okay, yeah, he's gonna eat these girls out, his teeth is gonna get stuck on their clit. Yeah. <laughs> Did he say this before the lion came running at him? He's coming right for me! South Park? South Park? Anyone? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't South Park. Uh, Do you mean Ned? The guy was like, the lions are coming right yeah. for me. Die. And then the other guy, up. the other guy with the hat, coming right for me! Uh oh. Hey, man, it wasn't. Got bad mail! Good mail. Every mail here is good. So, Bobby, I got a message. Shut up. Ah. Shut up. Ah. You know who that is. <laughs> Gina. Ah. Hi, Gina. Hi. Do you, do you, have you figured out uh, what Bobby and Bruce Jenner have in common yet? Lack of balls! Ah, <laughs> nah, hurts. it's all good. But, um, oh my god. That was, that was great. There was all, one other thing I noticed last week while I was in Lake George. One of the What's ponds that? has turtles. I wanted to catch one of the turtles, except for, here's a turtle I didn't want to catch. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good, Ali. Do I even want to see this? Ah! <laughs> God! <laughs> it's so accurate looking. Ah! Oh, wait, here's oh the bird from four minutes ago. Oh, my God. Nope, it doesn't come up. That is that fucking hysterical. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little weird. Really weird. That is definitely a little, uh, little fucked up, Jerry. Could you imagine if she was topless? The turtle had bug eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is the greatest thing, ladies and ge <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Raphael now comes in look size at her, look, at, look at her hand. She's like, look, he was this big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. And her other hand is completely missing in her stomach. That's her holding her cell phone before she ate it. She did. You know, actually, that's the great. You just reminded me. You ever see when some of these like heavy set girls post before and after pictures of themselves, and the only thing you notice that changes is their cell phone? Yeah. It's like, like I, I shouldn't be noticing that your cell phone changed in the picture. What the fuck? You, at so least, at least lie and put a filter on there or something. Jesus Christ. What they do is they take a selfie with a tablet, so it's all about perspective. So they take a selfie with a tablet, mm -hmm. and then they take a selfie with a cell phone. Like, oh look, I lost weight. I'm small. Motherfuckers yeah. gonna be taking pictures, selfies, and self yeah. at smart TV soon. Yeah. Just watch. We have a giant TV. Hi, and yeah. the fucking TV's gonna fall in their motherfucking head. Oh Christ. Uh -huh. It's gonna happen. It kind of works though, because you got a fat person takes a picture with a you know tablet. They look smaller, you know, because it looks like a big cell phone. Who yeah, th this selfie stick has become an epidemic. No joke. Like, I fucking if, love it. I have four of them. I'm waiting to the point where I'm driving around one day and I'm gonna see someone with a selfie stick out their fucking window <laughs> taking a picture of themselves while they're driving. I'm gonna pull up next to that person, my arm out, and fucking that yank off. the thing off. I would love to do that. I'm gonna yeah, I'm like motherfucker. You, you, they're gonna have now selfie while driving. That's gonna become a fucking law. Oh my uh, god. That's gonna be a three point fine. Uh, I guarantee it. Yeah. It's it's gonna be. I'm telling you right now. There's gonna be a law soon. Where like they're gonna come out with some car and it's gonna be like insert phone here, and you have to insert your phone into the car in order to even move. The next Do smart car. Do not even car. suggest the ideas. The next smart car will have a selfie stick holder. 
Oh, yo, I, I don't trust I these smart cars. Some, someone had their car hacked recently, and they had it taking control of that was, with, with um, all this computer shit in it. What, what car was, was that? That was, a, that was a Jeep, I think. It was a Jeep. Yeah, that what? was. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, Jeep was Yes, this that? person's the navigation system was tied into the whole computer, yeah. and they showed how a hacker could go into the system and control the fucking car. The Infiniti Q50 has that too, because it has electronic steering, so you can actually steer the car too. Everyone's gonna start buying muscle shit. cars now with no computers and shit. It's like the old days. Did you guys hear what happened with that robot thing that was like? A oh yeah, you got Philadelphia one. Yeah. yeah. I was like, who didn't see that coming in Philly? Yeah. Really? <laughs> what the fuck? What did you it think was going to happen? It made it all around Canada. Yeah. It got to the United States, and it made it down to Philly. That and then whole, that was it. We got some angry motherfuckers in this country. That whole robot thing was like, let's see how honest people are. And I was like, okay, Detroit, Philly, all the shitty areas. What the fuck did you think was going to happen if you left it there? They probably had a better <laughs> chance of the robot surviving in Compton, for God's sake. Yeah. yeah. The fuck? At least the robot would have came back with a do-rag and some tattoos and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Roblox? The ro <laughs> Bobby's on fire tonight! Catch every single slip! The robot when it came back is so, real black. So let's do this. Jerry Jerry likes hardwood. <laughs> gang gang he, signs on the He likes gang the signs on his chest. <laughs> gang signs he, he, likes, he likes big black dick. <laughs> big bl no, no, no. We're not talking about that. That was Dad. Would have had needles sticking oh, no, out of his arms. Yeah, that was Dad. And we were talking about Bigfoot's big wood. Yeah. Big wood. I, I'm gonna have to take. Jerry a still can't talk. Worth the I shit. I still can't talk. Yeah. I'm gonna have to check and see like what further happened with the story and see if maybe she got pregnant or maybe she's got uh, some wood developing inside of her. God. We don't even know. <laughs> she got splinters from big wood. Oh god. Ow. She would be stupid not to sell that weed because I'm pretty sure anybody that's bored in their life would not mind having that sort of trip. Just imagine that they're gonna call the wood like big weed or something like that. It's just like you're guaranteed to see motherfucking Bigfoot when you smoke this shit. I don't know where the fuck I am right now. That weed she's smoking Bigfoot. That weed she's smoking is more powerful than a motherfucking Jeffrey. I'm lost. What's a Jeffrey? Do you ever see um the movie Get Him to the Greek? Yes. Okay. That's when they mix like the weed with crystal meth in it, and they're like, "Why'd you call it the Jeffrey?" It's like, "Oh, because no one ever expects the Jeffrey of doing damage to you." <laughs> and everyone that like had that shit, the guy like had a vision of P Diddy eating himself. <laughs> that was a that's a great fucking movie. That mother, he hasn't done a. <laughs> what movie what was, was that? <laughs> Where P Diddy was in it. He's like on the walls. Like, it's so. It's so. Nice. That's it. It's so nice. Stroke the furry walls. Like I'm gonna cover my whole house in this shit. This is what pussy looked like in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're, you know what's funny? They were running through the hallway, and um, what what the hell's the kid's name? And he was like, "This is the longest hallway ever." It's actually true. When I went to Vegas, those hallways and those hotels are like a mile long. God, oh man. yeah. You got like a fucking full cardio workout walking from just the whole the bedroom where you are to like the casinos. It's the longest fucking walk, but it's great. Wow. How far is the ice machine? The ice machine? Oh, God, I don't even know. I never even found it. <laughs> I could, you have a better chance of finding Bigfoot in freaking someone's marijuana garden than finding an ice machine in a Vegas hotel. Might happen one day. You never know. <laughs> but uh, it looks like we got uh, a few more seconds uh, I just want to say thank you all for watching this week's episode. I hope no one's uh, smoking anything up and having visions of uh, Big Wood. Big Wood. That's what we're just going to call him from now on. We're just going to call him fucking Big Wood. Fucking Big Wood. Fucking Big Wood. You're never going freaking in the woods anymore after this, are you? No. That, that did it for me. That well, means we were, we're up doing, there, but we were a little skeptical. We're but. doing an adventure video. All of us. Looking for big wood. No, I'm it good. Be here. I'm we're, we're leaving we'll you to here. that one, Dahlia. Dahlia. Yeah, you can. Then I'll make episode, my own fucking thing. Next week's episode, Dahlia, with the adventure of wood. He's gonna make his own Lord of the Rings movie called Lord of the Wood. <laughs> and he's gonna be the Frodo. Thank you for watching. And as always, watching is not a bad thing. That's a good thing. See you next week. Have a good one. <laughs>